Hello everyone, Coney is here. Today I'm flying from Sierra Vista, Nevada to Lordsburg, New Mexico. I'm flying a Cessna 208B Grand Caravan. I've set my flight level to be 8,000. And let's get started. I guess we'll just go around them or something. I don't know what they're doing out on the... I adjusted my pedals a little bit, I took the dead zone out, and I just found it them easier to use without that. So, just a suggestion. Stall. KH-297 continue for east departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Let me tower KH-297 continue for east departure. All right, so I'm trying to get back onto the proper course here. Almost got it. And then as soon as I hand it off to autopilot, we'll go to the external view and look around. Maybe I'm going too far. I'm trying to get those lines lined up, the magenta lines on the compass display. Okay, well this is probably close enough to turn it over to autopilot, which I've done a little over throttle. So, I've already got navigation mode Let me tower KH enabled frequency change. Approach and KH enabled is type Cessna Let's Caravan, 4 miles east of Libby, 6,800 feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. KH-297 approach. Squawk 5412. Alright, so it's going to get us back on exact course. KH-297 radar contact 4 miles south of 11 Alpha Zulu, 7,100 feet. Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Cleared through the Bravo airspace, KH-297. I think we're going to be oscillating here for a bit. Okay, it looks like that may be kind of dampering off. So we're almost at our flight level, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit altitude hold mode. Might have to go a little higher to get up over those mountains. Maybe not. Okay, so now that we've leveled off, I can let off the throttle a bit, although I would still like to pick up speed. But we can go outside and look around. Don't really know how much there is to see out here. It seems like we're sort of in the middle of nowhere. So 
so not a lot of development here. Still it's interesting looking. I think it's majority satellite photo, so we're not getting a lot of detail. I'm going to go back inside, check on this instrument right here. So it looks like we can go a little faster. Uh, what I keep doing though is overthrottling it and then getting the temperature too high or the torque too high. So I think we can afford to speed up a bit. It's a bit of a long flight, so it'd be nice to get some speed going. Alright, so I'm going to head back outside again. And just continue looking around. Again, not really much to see. Looks like we're about to head over a settlement of some kind. from the airplane. Okay, let's get rid of this. That's kind of ugly and in the way. Hear the plane going by. I don't know if we can see it from here. Uh, it must be going like right over here. I hear the Doppler continuously changing. Anyway, okay, so let's go check this out. So uh, some some little town, I guess, in probably eastern Arizona or western New Mexico. Not really sure which. Kind of a small area, um, not a lot going on. But it looks like there's some additional spots over here. I kind of wonder why the uh, developed areas are in these funny blobs rather than something more, um, I don't know, regular looking. Oh, there's, there's the plane. Interesting. Going to one tree, four decimal, four five KH two nine or seven. Albuquerque Center KH two nine or seven seven thousand eight hundred feet. Okay, well let's go back to the plane. Alright, well we can stay in here for a minute where it's quieter. Again, just not really very much to see, but I wasn't expecting to see much. Pretty much all looks like the same stuff. Uh, so maybe it'll get interesting when we pass this mountain range up here. If 
try a center it it's a slightly nicer view. Turbulence probably from those hills is my guess. Uh, I think we're okay height wise. some speed and let's head over there and see what that looks like. It may take a little while to get there. It won't seem quite as slow if I get closer to the ground probably. Can't hear the plane anymore. I think it, at 100% the drone was actually moving faster than the plane. It seemed like I was able to get ahead of it, so that was kind of interesting. Another little settlement over here. And some water. A little bit. I guess some kind of a farming community or something. And here's some more development. Again, no idea where I am. Um, I'm a little lazy, or I would have <laughs> looked at a map and, you know, known where these areas were. You can always look it up later. All right, so we're getting closer to the water. Let's get an overview. So this must be some lake in, I guess, New Mexico. Maybe, maybe it's Arizona. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know exactly where the border is. Um, dare I risk bringing up the VFR map? They were supposed to have fixed that, so that should not be a problem. Of course, it's going to show the airplane, but I think that's the water right there. Interesting. Yeah, no idea what that is. See a lot of agriculture over here. Uh, this might be a fun place to land a seaplane and fly around. I wonder what the water waves are like, if there are any. It seems like the, the air is very clear, but there's a little bit of... Nice that the drone will just kind of float on the surface. Alright, no idea where the plane is, but let's go ahead and head back. Oh, I just hit 
some button on the controller and something happened. And I did not mean to do that. I think I hit the bumper. I'm not actually sure what that does. It probably maybe changed the trim. That's my guess. And then the autopilot adjusted it back. Um, beginning to feel like I need to get a little higher to get up over that mountain. You know what, I think it's the flaps. We're slowing down too much. I'm going to see if that's... Oh yeah, it was the flaps. Okay. Well, that's kind of lame. Got to really be careful with that 360 controller. Um, only when you're flying the drone is it safe to hit all of the buttons. And all I was doing was setting it down, and my hand happened to touch the bumper, and so I could crash a plane. Alright, I'm going to set a new altitude target, and let's say, you know, 10,000. And I'm going to have to slow down significantly to be able to give it some headroom to climb. That last five percent where it goes all the way to the end, but it looks like I got pretty close. I did not see an obvious way. It says a Thrustmaster T rudder, or I'm sorry, T uh, what flight X, Hotas flight X, or whatever. Did not see a way to tighten that, but there's probably a way to do it some way or another. Definitely getting up in altitude. Um, it's a little hard to tell. This white horizon line does seem like the mountain goes up over it, off in the distance. So I do think we, to be safe, we need to get up over that. interesting to see. I was originally planning for my learning to fly tour uh, to head all the way down to South America and then back up. But then as soon as I entered Mexico I realized that um, a lot of there's a lot of undeveloped areas that, that everything's kind of underdeveloped and it just didn't look very nice. And I decided it would be better to go through the US doesn't look much better here, but it's greener. But there's not a lot of interestingness to this area at all, at least to me. Um, except the hills, I guess. That water was interesting. I kind of wish I knew what, the, what it looked like over that mountain. I think we're going to be okay height-wise once we get there, but sometimes things are a lot closer than they seem. We go look at this. Okay. All right, it looks like we're over the mountains, so we're probably going to be okay.
sensor what that looks like, but we should be fine. I see a lot of foothills down below us, or small hills, or whatever they're, whatever they're called. Another double check outside, but yeah, we're fine. Not sure exactly where the state line is, maybe it's related to this mountain range. Seems like we're about halfway there. Be nice with the VFR map if you you know if you could overlay um, at least you know state state boundaries maybe county boundaries. I think there's an add-on that actually does that. All right, so we're good on engine metrics. Good on height. We actually should probably start descending now. We don't need to be this high. So uh, speed is good. Let me set a target of let's say 7,000. gas and let it go back to that speed. Alright, good. On a good descent. And then if we want we can just change the speed here. But I think 146 target is just fine. Um, I, need, I think I need to give it just a little bit more thrust because it's not getting up to 146. Of course, then it stops uh, pitching down, so maybe not. I think I just need to let it do its thing. It'll, it'll get there. There's some more mountains coming up, but they look like they're pretty low. Uh, we can always head back up if need be. Also see another body of water. I don't think that... It can't be the same one we were looking at, so I wonder, wonder what that is. Um, when we get closer, maybe I'll send the drone out there and see, see what that's all about. Again, the same old, very uninteresting looking land down here. It's been that way for miles and miles. I think we'd be able to do something with all this land.
Alright, looks like we've reached our altitude target, so I'm gonna give it some more gas since we're leveling off. I can't tell if the airport is up in the mountains, or maybe there's a another valley over there, past that second mountain range over. Everything looks very fuzzy off in the distance, but I've got the graphic settings maxed out, so I think that's just the effects of morning haze and fog. curious about that water. I'm going to go ahead and head over there and take a look at that. Yeah, see, we're going faster than the plane. That's interesting. Doesn't seem like it, but I can make it seem like we're going a lot faster. See the plane. Not sure exactly where it is. All right, so some kind of a lake. It looked like a bigger water system from a distance, but this here it looks you know like a shallow, almost like a gigantic puddle or something. There's the water. Uh, let's see if we can get a reflection off the sun. Alright, well that's a pretty shot. Try to make a little bit more, let's see, better composition. Oh, you, can <laughs> you can hear the water. That is funny. It's actually very relaxing. We're supposed to be <laughs> flying. So, so let's go back to the plane. <laughs> no idea that the drone would pick up the sound of the water and not its own propeller blades. Of course, it's not a drone. It's really a god mode camera that can go anywhere with no mass. All right, so we're five miles away from the co-pilot asking for uh, landing. Um, Go back inside. All right, we're going a little bit too fast, so I'm going to start slowing us down because we're going to need to drop speed off in order to land. Again, I think we're okay terrain-wise with our altitude. Let's just take a look here. I think it's fine. If not, we'll pull up and go over it. <laughs> Alright, there's that water system, I guess. Or gigantic puddle, whatever that is. Seems like the game puts water in kind of arbitrary places sometimes, so you never know, maybe it just thinks water should be there, and it's just a dry spot.
really does seem kind of odd how fuzzy everything is. Like I said, I've got the graphics settings all maxed out, so it's got to just be uh, weather haze. Inside of the cockpit looks okay. You can see some texture detail in the corner here that is very sharp, so I don't know. Tower KH-29 or 711 miles southwest to land. KH-29 or 7 tower. Make left traffic runway 30. Altimeter 30 decimal 02 wind calm. Fly left downwind runway 30 KH-29 or 7. Alright, so there's the landing pattern. I'm going to turn off autopilot. slowing down. I don't want to enter the landing pattern going this fast. I will put the flaps down once I'm a little straighter into the landing pattern. I don't trust turning them on while I'm in the middle of a turn, although it's probably fine. losing a little bit too much altitude, it's hard to tell. Um, I don't want to go outside and look because I'm trying to get used to flying from inside the cockpit. We can turn and see where the brackets are. Alright, so it looks like we have a little ways to go. as best I can maintain my altitude until I know exactly where I need to be for that entrance. Alright, so again I kind of have to guess where I'm at. I don't I think we're, yeah, I think we're in good shape. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down. Push hard forward on the stick and drop the throttle, but not too much. Alright, and we're a little high, but that's okay. Watching the speed ticker tape and the white line, which is where you could use the flaps. Below the white line, the plane will stall. Possibly before that, depending on other conditions, like wind and whatnot. Alright, so we're still a little bit too high, but I'm also a little slow, so I'm gonna get us some speed and get us some lower altitude at the same time. Alright, so I can see that it's going to want us to go below 75 when we go through the last set of brackets. That's fine. Alright, we're hitting some wind. I can feel the plane pulling up. So maybe some kind of a crosswind or gusts or something. Uh, I'm going to give it some more thrust because I don't want to get too far down. I like to keep it below the 75 but not much lower. This all looks good. Speed is good. Our altitude and angle is good. I think, although I do need to start descending. I 
to say this has been my least pretty flight so far. It just looks so fuzzy and hazy. And um, I guess that's about all there is really to see, unfortunately. some ground wind effects. Um, need to drop throttle more and descend some more, get the speed that way. Yeah, it says we're too fast, but I think the turn will soak up some of that. So I think we'll be fine. Slow, yeah. We're about to stall. So we don't want to do that. Yeah, we're really got bumpy here. I'm going to need a lot more practice before I get this down smooth. Um, and I'm not really used to some of the ground effects with the wind, and so that's a little confusing, but we're going too fast. KH297, contact ground on 122 decimal 8. Not a perfect landing, but a safe landing, nevertheless. Going to 122 decimal 8, KH297. Alright, we'll turn here. Parking brake and contact ground. Um, yeah, ground services. Quest push back. Okay, so I guess we just go park wherever we want. That's fine. <laughs> no services, basically. So I'll just go forward and turn right and park next to that other plane up last on the right.
Alright, parking brake. Engine off. Curious how close I came to the other plane. Okay, well I cleared it by a lot, so that's good. There goes the engine off. And shut off the power. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. actually very relaxing.